Hey everyone, this is Derek with another product unboxing video, and today we have the AT&T variant of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, which was just released on AT&T. It's the successor to their popular Fablet Galaxy Note 1, Galaxy, uh, the original one, which is over here. And uh, without further ado, let's see what we have in the box. So there's not too much interesting outside the box other than there's a $35 restocking fee and some model information. This is the 16 gigabyte, I believe it's like titanium gray model, I think they're calling it. So here you can see the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. It was originally out of the box, it was already out of the box, so it has the protective plastic out uh, off of it, and that's because they activated the phone in the AT&T store, and because we don't have a case for it yet, I decided to swap the SIM back into the Note 1. So I will put the Note 2 next to the original Note so you can start to get a sense of the difference in size. And uh, this is a good time to mention that this is just the product unboxing video. However, on my channel, if you're not subscribed, subscribe now because I'm going to be doing a number of other comparisons between the Note and the Note 2 as well as potentially another Android phone or two and we're going to see if there's any real-world performance difference in addition to benchmarks and a lot of fun stuff. So those videos will be coming out shortly. And let's see what else is in this box. So we have the, the AT&T Quick Start Guide. Um, this is fairly simplistic, but it would be useful for anyone who's new to the Android platform or new to a smartphone in general. It just gives you some quick tips on how to uh, do things like add a contact, take a picture, that sort of thing, so that's useful. Uh, and then we have our health and safety warranty guide, which I probably won't read. And in the box, the bottom of the box, there is a 2 amp charging brick, and this is a welcome change from the uh, the 1 amp brick that was included with the original Galaxy Note, because the Galaxy Note 2 has an even larger 3100 milliamp hour battery and what that means is if you're charging it at 1 amp it would take a long time to charge. Probably not as long as an iPad but still a long time to charge and uh, obviously we, we like phones that can recharge fast as well as last a long time so that's welcome. And here you have a standard USB to micro USB cable. This is a 6 foot uh, I believe it's a six foot cable which is nice because some other manufacturers include a shorter cable which is kind of just a pain. I mean, you needed a USB extender or to find a closer plug, put the phone somewhere you don't want to. So it's nice that they include a long cable. Now one thing that's missing here from the global uh, variant of the, the Note 2 uh, as well as some other carriers actually are the uh, the headphones. The headphones are ominously absent from the AT&T uh, model, and I can't really begin to speculate why that would be, other than it's probably some agreement between Samsung and AT&T. It's not any cheaper than on uh, some of the air carriers, so I'm not certain why they omitted it, but chances are if you're buying a Note 2, you probably have a, uh, a decent Bluetooth headset already, or you have decent um, just headphones. So it's not a huge deal for me, however, if uh, it, it is rather odd that they are missing that. So I suppose that concludes the unboxing because there's really nothing else in the box. And uh, stay tuned to this channel, as I said before, for additional product comparison videos and uh, product reviews.